I'm here with Jason from Mass Roofing. He's a service technician. This is really one of the finest and cleanest roofing jobs I've ever been on. Mass Roofing really is standing out when it comes to caring for the property. Tell me about this project and, and tell me what this piece of equipment is behind us and how it helps you really run a professional roofing job like you're running here. Well, what this is, is this is actually called a roofer buggy and it's a great piece of equipment because what it is, is it's basically a portable dumpster that we can put right up to the eave of the roof, right near the gutter. So when we're stripping the roof off, we can install chutes towards the eave, so all the trash is put right into this roofer buggy. They put the roofer buggy right up to the side of the roof, so any uh, anything they need to dispose of during the day, whether it be cardboard from nail boxes or paper or um, whatever it may be, they can put directly into the roofer buggy and at the end of the day, they will take that down, close the doors up, and they will either dump it on an all-site dumpster or they will take it back to our office and, and dispose of it. I'm standing with Brandon. Brandon, you're a professional carpenter, but you really do specialize in window and siding installations and make sure they're installed properly. That's an sure. important part of your business, right? Absolutely. Tell me maybe what you should look for when uh, trying to find a window or siding contractor and maybe what are some helpful tips, maybe some questions that people could ask uh, if they were online right now looking for a siding or window contractor. Specifically, I guess, uh, first things would be somebody who has a good reputation. When it comes to replacement windows in place of old windows, uh, insulation is always a big uh, proponent of something that's uh, gonna withstand the test of time. Uh, usually your air loss comes around windows and doors. Being able to um, set up the opening so that it takes the window correctly and that you can um, make sure that it's fast and it's not gonna blow in with a big gust of wind or something like that. Tell me about, you know, kind of what's happening behind me here. When it comes to an older home, you're always susceptible to years of other people uh, changing openings and reinstalling, uh, whether it's the trim or the molding, anything like that. And so as even though the windows might all look the same, there's always challenges that the openings might not be exact. This particular dormer that we're looking on here, when we took the old siding off to replace the new siding, found that there's actually windows on either side of the dormer. And so that was again, something that was weren't expecting. And so we had to come up with a good plan that would A, be watertight, uh, B, um, be well insulated, and, uh, and then all, always, uh, you know, look good. If you're looking for a siding installer that understands siding and understands how to work with siding and windows, it's really important you use someone that specializes in both products. We're out here on a siding and window project. An older home, a lot of challenges. Tell me how that training that you shared with me comes to help when we're out here in the field. Obviously, you can see uh, behind me that they are installing uh, siding material, vinyl siding. And there are a lot of things that go into that installation that the technicians are trained on, or the installers. Uh, one, installing the secondary barrier, making sure all the seams are taped, uh, because water will get behind the siding and it needs to drain out. So that secondary barrier is very important. Um, wrapping the windows in the proper flashing tape, uh, making sure that that secondary barrier is integrated properly with that, that window flashing. Uh, making sure windows are insulated properly and obviously installed correctly. Um, so there are a lot of variables that, that you come into to play because on older homes, most times things aren't square, they're not level. Um, so you have to use your, your imagination a little bit to, to make things square and level uh, or to appear that way, but our technicians and installers are, are highly trained. It's really special for me to see this kind of care and commitment to the customer and making sure you're caring for them. Thanks again, Jason. Absolutely. For having me out. Yeah, thanks.